But your thoughts on the three games at Magadites and Classics over the season? Well, I tell you what, we opened up probably with the toughest schedule in UTPA history is we went to the Maggie Dixon Classic at DePaul University and, and played a very tough New Mexico team. Uh, came away with a 61-59 margin of victory. Uh, really enjoyed that game. And then uh, we played a DePaul team ranked number 15 in the country and played them pretty much even for a majority of the time. Uh, I used a different combination. I played a lot of players. I played like 13 players that game. I had to see what we could do at that at that time frame to see if we have players. Gonna, we're going to check our depth out. Uh, came up short, 93 to 70. But I liked the energy that we had against uh, a DePaul team playing on their home court. And then uh, we finished it up on Sunday afternoon with a, a game against the number five ranked Texas A&M Aggies, and uh, we. Lost by a score of 63-61, led by 12 points in the first half, led by seven at the uh, halftime, and came back and really did some really good things in the second half. We just didn't get to the line enough. We thought we should have been able to get to the line. We didn't, and uh, came out on the short end. We, we had a chance to make some big plays and just came up a little bit short, but the effort was there, so we're going to move forward. But... Uh, to put it all in perspective, we're one and two, and we've got to get better, and we've got to get better in a hurry. Uh, Shante Goff, all tournament and all and WAC Player of the Week honors. Uh, very deserving. Shante really got to the rim extremely well. Her defense is good, and I expect it to be great. Uh, she is so athletic, so quick that we're, at, we're we expect a lot of things from her. As a matter of fact, I want her to get more steals, and I need her to rebound more. Uh, but as far as getting the ball up and down the floor, her shooting is not where she wants it to be right now. And once she gets on a roll shooting, she's going to score a lot of points for us because we have a lot of options that go to her. Uh, but her being, her being whack player of the week, very deserving against three r really tough opponents. I think against New Mexico, she had 21 against DePaul, 19. And I think it was 14 against Texas A&M. So... Got to be pleased with that effort, and then uh, coming back and making all tournament for sure. That was a, that was a given because uh, New Mexico, DePaul, and Texas A&M they knew that we played them hard, and we certainly deserved to have her on there. And if I had another choice to put on that team, it would have been uh, Tiandra Nolan. Tiandra Nolan was outstanding, running our point guard position, and she is solid as a rock. And next up, Texas A&M Kingsville and Concordia. Well, we have uh, two really, uh, two really tough games that they're going to come in here and they're going to want to, they're want to, going to want to beat us. There's no question. And A&M Kingsville has a new coach. I know Wade Scott down there. He'll do a good job, and uh, they're going to be very well coached and very solid. Going to be able to run the floor and shoot the basketball. Concordia had a very good season last year. They like to fill it up. They like to shoot the threes, and they're going to run. And then we follow that up with a uh, very tough game against a WNIT opponent um, last year in Eastern Michigan, and and they've already played Michigan State within eight points. And so we have a very tough week. We're going to have six games in nine days, so we're going to have a lot of basketball played by the end of this week.